Skills 20 volt power core impact driver. Does it have the power of a pro? We'll find out when we get back. I'm Tim Johnson and you're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is the Skill Power Core 20 quarter inch impact driver. Now this runs off their 20 volt battery platform and if you're used to the old skill tools, take everything you know of that and throw it away. Put your hands on one of these, don't take my word for it. Find one, put your hands on one of them, or buy one, they're cheap enough, and try it out for yourself, because I'm telling you, it's gonna blow your mind from what you're used to as far as that old name. So definitely check them out. They've been totally redesigned, even the looks of them look great. Uh, the balance of the tools is great, uh, and you can just tell by the feel of this that there's some quality behind it as well. Now, they're priced still for that DIY range. This kit, which is kind of their primo kit for an impact driver, so the PowerCore 20, the brushless as we see it here, uh, 1,800 inch pounds of torque um, with the 2.0 uh, lithium ion battery with the USB out on it as well, so you can even charge your smartphone or smart devices, what have you, from the battery. Uh, so this impact driver, the battery, as well as their power jump charger, which is a power jump charger, again, that's a step up. This whole kit is 149 bucks. So ship to your door. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can get it tomorrow for or two days for 149 bucks. Um, so all in. Now having that power jump charger, you're gonna charge your battery to 25% from zero in five minutes. So that's what that better charger is gonna do for you. And then it'll take it from zero to 100% in just 45 minutes. So you're gonna get a lot faster charge times with that power jump charger. So stepping up to, to kind of that primo uh, kit, if you will. Now you can buy the lesser kit, which is not a brushless tool. Uh, it also comes with a battery that doesn't have the USB out and the slower charger. That's only 79 bucks. So, you know, that's really cheap when you're looking at even at DIY tools, but I'm telling you the quality is still there and I want you to put your hands on it to try it out for yourself. Now, I kind of wanted to do the ultimate test for it. I wanted to overuse this thing. I didn't want to destroy it. I didn't want to, you know, make it smoke or anything else, but I wanted to put it through some real world tests and my mind mechanics come to, come to heart. You know, that's just where, where it is for me. I had an LS motor that had just come in the shop and I thought, you know what? Let's tear it down with using just the skill impact driver. Now I knew that probably we were going to get to some fasteners where it wasn't going to do everything, but I'm telling you, you can see in this time lapse, we tore this complete engine apart and full disclosure uh, for the head bolts, I had to pull out an impact, uh, an actual impact wrench of full size. In fact, my mid torque wouldn't even do it. I had to pull out a high torque impact, impact wrench to pull those head bolts out as well as the rod bolts. I had to use a breaker bar to break those free and then I pulled them out with the impact driver. And then the, uh, the crankshaft pulley bolt, which is a large bolt I used an impact wrench as well. Every other bolt on this, in fact a couple of the head bolts I even pulled out with this, uh, but every other bolt we backed out on that engine with this Skill Power Core 20. It did a great job. I was blown away. Uh, the guy helping me out was blown away. He just couldn't believe that, that you know, kind of a DIY tool, is especially, you know, what he was thinking of, of the old skill tools would have never held a candle to that. So I know it sounds like I'm pumped up, but I'm telling you, I'm, I, it's just made a believer out of me that the power is really there. You know, it is definitely on par for the pro tools that you see. In fact, it surpasses power on some of those professional tools and it definitely is the top of the heat for any, uh, any DIY type of tool or any uh, kind of entry level tool. This by far is exceeding that performance uh, and even getting into that pro level of performance when you're talking about raw torque. Now as far as speeds on the gun, you actually have uh, a low and a high as well as even at like an assist mode where you can actually put it in that and it'll actually, once it feels like the, the fastener is starting to run on or tighten, then it'll speed up so it kind of starts slow and speeds up. I like to put it on high and then you can just use that variable speed trigger to vary that speed of whatever you want to. So you can put it at a crawl and that's what I usually do to get started and then speed that up to full speed if you want to. Um, so using that variable speed trigger. Very easy to shift between forward and reverse. Uh, very easy to click those things over. Uh, nice knurling on the, on the collet here so I can easily pull that out, change it over, put my, put my Phillips bit in there if I want to, to change those out. So very easy to do that. It doesn't have an internal spring. I wish it did to, a, to eject that bit. 
Um, but again, still easy to do it one-handed um, to change those out. Check this out from Skill. The, again, it's the PowerCore 20. This one is the brushless model. Uh, like I said, and the kit is, is upgraded to the, to the PowerCore 20 battery with the USB out as well as the PowerJump charger. And that's what I think you'll see if you're looking on Amazon. When it says the power jump charger, that's when you're going to get that better battery as well as with the brushless tool as well. So make sure you check those out. Again, 149 as you see it here, uh, 79 for that, that lesser uh, brush model um, with, the, uh, with the battery that doesn't have the USB out and the slower charger. But again, still a great tool as far as the, the bones of the tool still has that great feel to it, the good rubber overmolding. Um, I, again, I was very impressed that we pulled this entire motor apart with this. Uh, it just really changed my mindset on what I thought about this. And a couple of weeks ago, I used it on my, on my test rig back here where I tightened these bolts up to 250 foot-pounds and backed them off with this. So arguably, that's where you hear the term 250 pounds of nut-busting torque. That's what they're talking about. So basically, I tightened them to 250 foot-pounds and then I backed them off with this tool. So I knew then it had some good power. I was just impressed that I was able to do the entire motor. And by the way, Still I haven't touched the battery, um, so I've got two bars left on the battery after doing that entire LS motor. Um, so I don't know how many bolts are in there, but quite a few. Um, not quite a few. I, I would say, I don't know, 100, something like that. Uh, there's a lot. Um, so make sure you check this out. Again, I'll put the description um, down in the, uh, in the notes, or I'll, I'll put the link down in the description. How's that? Uh, so check this out from Skill. Again, if you haven't used their tools, their new tools, You'll be able to see it, trust me. The look looks totally different than the old tools. Try them out, I think you'll be impressed. In fact, I know you'll be impressed. Let me know if you're not impressed. Uh, definitely let me know. So make sure you check them out. You can find them on skill.com. That's easy to remember. Also, you can find them on Amazon. You can buy all their products there. Also, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you don't mind, smash that like and subscribe button if you like this video. Also, hit that bell notification so you can be notified of future videos. Have a great day, and God bless.